Hello everyone, my name is Hugo Rodriguez. Um, I will work in, I'm in Rosario, I've been working with roses for the last five years. Uh, I was trained with the experts on the subject, so uh, uh, I think I feel qualified about talk today about how to grow roses in your garden. Uh, so um, there are three important connotations that we need to know about uh, this subject. Uh, the first is uh, uh, where and how to plant roses. Um, first we need to pick, uh, to choose our spot. Uh, roses like full sun, uh, but here in Mississippi it's so hot that we just need six hours of sun is uh, enough. Uh, then, um, a rose like uh, uh, enough room to grow. So, uh, uh, and finally we need the uh, uh, Roses like uh, a well drained um, area, so uh, they don't like a lot of water. Um, before to talk about how to set the uh, rose in your hole, in the hole you need to, um, I, I will talk about a little bit rose anatomy, which is uh, the rose have um, three parts, um, has three parts. One, is the uh, root system, then the bud union, and then it's coming the stem and the cluster. Uh, and, um, and when we set the rose in the hole, we just need uh, to be careful and set the bud union level, uh, that the bud union needs to be level with the ground level, it needs to be a ground level. Uh, then we add a, a mixture of uh, uh, topsoil, um, compost and, uh, uh, and fertilizer, which I recommend, uh, triple five. Um, after that, we give a good drink of water, and that should be enough. Um, then the second point, the second important point, is uh, about uh, maintenance of the rows, which uh, there are two important connotations. One is the fertilization, and the other is the pruning time. Um, the fertilization uh, is um, we have um, one time in February and the next time is in June, July. Um, to do this, we just need to dig a little hole around the drip line and, um, um, and add just a cup of fertilizer, which, like I said before, recommend I recommend the triple five. Uh, and um, for um, the pruning times, we have two important. Times one before spring and the next one is uh, before winter time. Um, on spring time, we do the severe cut, uh, and um, which means that we have to prune the rows one foot, a foot and a half uh, high. Um, we um, we cut the um, dead stems, uh, and that will stimulate your growth. Um, then. Uh, on the um, before winter time, we prepare our rows for the cold weather, and we just uh, um, cut the rows even and sh in an even shape. Um, well, uh, the last important connotation that I need to talk is about uh, disease control. Um, and here in Mississippi, I faced uh, three. Um, three um, uh, diseases. One is a black spot, which is, uh, uh, is a round black spot on the leaves. Uh, the leaves turn yellow, and then uh, you know we can kill the rose uh, and that way. Uh, but uh, the only way to, um, here in Mississippi, so humid that, uh, so humid that it's, it's very hard to get rid of this, this disease. So the only way to, uh, to do that is get a fungicide on your on the garden center. So uh, the next disease that I uh, faced was uh, aphids, which are little tiny insects on the bud. Um, they eat the bud, and uh, we can uh, um, get rid of these insects with uh, uh, any chemical or the chemical that the garden center suggests, or uh, we can get uh, a small uh, uh, ladybugs housing, so it's a natural way to get rid of them. Uh, and the last is the caterpillars, which eat the leaves, 
uh, we can it, we can kill them by hand or use an oral chemical. Uh, well, um, like I say, I mean, uh, um, I'm talk today about uh, how to grow roses in your garden. I hope uh, this helps and uh, uh, and but remember uh, with perseverance, patience, and care, you're going to get your work. Thank you very much.